All right, guys, now it is day two. You may have seen my first video where I basically told you yesterday I bought this camper. We are now on day two. Um, this is the start of the adventure. Um, I uh, packed up my Jeep, which is right here. It is completely packed up. We're gonna move some of the stuff from there into this, but this video is mostly gonna give you a introduction to the camper. Um, I thought I was gonna be camping in it tonight. I'm probably not. I'm going to uh, stay with a buddy that already works up there and uh, we're gonna take a look at the camper in detail, see if we can uh, fix it up just a little bit before I go a little bit, before I go full time in this thing. Um, now, technically I still have my apartment in Denver, so I can always come home for a little bit, but work is gonna keep me busy up there. And even though it shows it's only like three and a half hours away from my apartment, um, it's not gonna be the easiest trek because for one snow, where am I gonna put this when I come home? Who knows? Plus I got trail guides to film, so that's what we're gonna do. But let's let's take a look at this. All right guys, let's uh, start showing you this camper. Now this is one of the coolest things I think about this camper. Well, there's a lot of cool things, but this is the way to do an off-road camper. Um, there's probably a few others. I've seen some different others, but I like the fact that this can twist with it. Um, it still seems pretty rigid. This is something I would want on an off-road camper. Now, I probably won't be taking this on super difficult trails, but I plan on taking this on um, at least moderate to easy hard trails. I think it can withhold that, but we'll make sure. We're going to do proper tests. I do not want to ruin this camper um, as I really like it. This right here I did on Wheeler Lakes Trail Guide. If I haven't published it already, it is coming soon. It's a great one, um, but I definitely wrecked this little part somewhere on there. I wasn't being careful, tore it up, but simple zip tie and we should have perfect lights. Let's go take a look at the back and see if we got our flashers going and we do. So we got lights. All right, now I think this teardrop looks absolutely fantastic. I love the two-tone nature of it. I love the shape. I love everything about this thing. Um, but let me kind of take you inside. Now it is a teardrop camper, so they're pretty basic. Um, and it is unfinished on the inside. However, we're gonna see how this handles the cold of um, near Steamboat Springs area, Yampa. But the thing I love is the windows. So he has, you know, uh, two doors. So I could open up, the screens come down so I could have good breeze going through. And he has this awesome window right here, which would be really cool for scoping out things and kind of just seeing what's going on. I think this will be a nice, cozy little uh, sleeping area now. And I am going to figure a way to uh, build this out in the back and make it really nice. Um, but we also have a fantastic fan up here and you can lock from the inside. Um, I'm going to clean it all up. And I think this will look really fantastic. Um, but let's go to the back and I'll show you that. All right, like a typical teardrop, this is the back. We'll open up and show you what the back looks like, but just love the way he built this frame. Um, I'm sure we can uh, tighten up some of the, the creases, but he's done silicone uh, sealing all around. He's had this in rain storms. He says it does not leak. He hasn't used it much though because it was unfinished. But the only thing that uh, doesn't work are these backup lights. And we'll figure a way to get those going in the future. But these uh, tail lights work perfectly. Um, also has a hitch receiver built into it so I could probably put the mountain bike on there eventually. And yeah, let's go look at the inside. All right, this is the unfinished part. Now, we got wiring. Um, we gotta make this a little bit sturdier, I think. And we just gotta figure this out. Now, I do not have these skills. Um, I'm gonna try to learn them, but these are skills that aren't in my wheelhouse right now. And, um, but I have a lot of really uh, impressive friends so we're gonna see what we can do to make this a little bit better. Um, I definitely want this to be a kitchen area. Um, 
I'm intrigued. Maybe I have like a slide out. I'm not sure. I do want to plan and think of what I want to do with this area um, to make it more useful for me. Now, one thing I definitely would love having on this is a refrigerator. Now, he had the AC here, but the AC, he was thinking, would go up here. So, yeah, it's just something we're going to have to uh, figure out. So, right now, this is how we keep the uh, lift gate secure. But um, I'm going to order some new struts, and we're going to make sure that this stays nice and taut. But this is a pretty ingenious little way to, uh, let me see if I can do it right. There you go. And then get out of the way and there it closes. But as you can see, those struts have lost some of their power. Otherwise it would be holding up nice and tight. So that's what we're going to do. Dustin gave me the information on, uh, getting the right ones for it. So I will be ordering those shortly. Take a look at the outside. Now I showed you in that first video, the thing that probably sold me on this camper, besides it being awesome, was these Kenda Cleavers. Um, this, you know, with coronavirus and everything, this was a pretty big financial decision with me. I've been furloughed most of the year and uh, just started working again. And I really should not have spent my furlough savings for when I get furloughed again uh, on this camper, but these Kenda Cleavers, is what sold me. I was like, uh, it's probably, it's probably a good decision. But besides that, let's, uh, show you the quality of this. He's designed all this to be walked on. So we're gonna get up here and look at this roof. Now it has a fantastic fan on it, which is really cool. And I should have secured this to the Jeep right now. It's still on cinder blocks, but he's, um, put silicone, lots of silicone all into this to prevent any kind of um, leaking and he's silicone the whole thing um, he's also done really good rivets and uh, you know to basically seal this camper um, it's to me extremely impressive and uh, I definitely plan on um, testing it and seeing how it does in rough weather I'm sure there'll be a lot of snow on this thing uh, in the near future so yeah so we're gonna look at probably beefing up this in the future although i know it's pretty strong i mean this is sheet metal so that's kind of nice and here we have our battery he's done all the wiring it still needs a little bit of work um for shore power and some of the other things and i also want to find a way to keep this battery charged either with solar or some other method but right now that is what we have going on not too bad though not too bad at all well guys i hope you liked that little tour now i can probably go more in depth in this as i learn more um but yeah i figured this video is just going to show you my new home built unfinished camper i'm really excited to uh go on this adventure and uh try and make this work especially if you saw that my friends don't think i'm a very good overlander so we're going to show them in this little video series. Now, for those that are wondering, this is not what the channel does. We are a trail guide channel. We will always be a trail guide channel. We love filming them. I might be bringing this thing on some trail guides, um, but I just thought this was going to be an intriguing little side adventure uh, to the bulk of our content, me and trail guides. If you want to see those trail guides, if you're new here, you might like them because this is an off-road camper. And, you know, what's the point of off-road campers? They're to go on trails. So yeah, check those out up there. Those are my trail guides, our trail guides. And if you wanna see more about the camper or the first video, I'll link it over here. I'll link a camper video or something. Yeah, and if you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Any feedback on the camper, any advice, anything, I might be in over my head, so let me have it.